Why, hello there. Welcome to Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Today we're at this abandoned Sears Grand. Grand indeed. Look at the giant scope of this thing. I am ready to take off with you the places that we can explore together. Yeah, just me and you. You will see a bed in molds and stores. I hear I won't have to worry because we're GRM Adventures, baby. Yeah. No, we won't have to worry because we're GRM Adventures, baby. Here is this Sears Grand. Signs up and still looking fantastic. Well, at least from a distance. When you get up close, it's pretty dirty in the windows. Pretty dirty indeed. But we're gonna take a look at what remains. Man, still gutted, but yet, all just a hint of what once was. Oh my gosh, pushing the doors on accident. There's pieces of paper here, but doesn't even look like they say anything. Well, they do on the other side. It's nothing, nothing meant for us to see. Over here on the other end, you can see the registers. Now they took them down, but in the back there, that was the electronics. They had some very old pictures there, like some very old logos for brands, which I know Sears old, they all kind of correlate together. And now we approach the garden center. I think I had a voice crack there, garden, no it's garden, garden center. And it's just ironic because there's a Lowe's next door but I mean I even remember when this was open when I went here this whole thing was empty so I mean they weren't using it even all the way back in 2018 and coming up on the side here there's actually a store sign still remaining that's actually a decent shot there with nothing but emptiness but Sears Grand still prevails Now this might be our only other way to see into the store, but no, well, maybe a little bit, but not enough to call it usable. Another Sears Grand sign. Yeah, that one's painted on there, but you can actually see into the store this time. Well, it's still pretty dark in the auto center. Coming past here, there's merchandise pickup, which I actually didn't know this was here, but then again, you know, I only explored the inside of the store when it was open. I didn't ever come back here. All right. Woo. Yeah, back hallway. There's actually a door to my left here, can't really see. That's the store. I guess you'd come in here to get to the back room and I guess there's restrooms and stuff. Not too much, but it's, it's lit up at least. And coming around the corner, there's some pallets. There's this green box, exciting. And then oh, there's just a Sears Grand sign, that's boring. Not just it's actually still lighting up too, very faintly. I mean, it's still bright outside, but it's only like 3.30 and the sign is still illuminating. All right, back here, just some loading docks and some blue paint fading. Not much to see, but there is a road sign still remaining that says Sears Grand, nice, big and proud. 
but I think now, I don't know if that light up LED board was supposed to be for Sears and then they just change it to generic things because it has nothing to do with Sears now. It's just visit our cool things that we got. Now we're on the left side of the building and we have another Sears Grand. Yes, that rhymed. I can rhyme. So that means I can be a famous TikToker, right? I just don't want the Chinese government spying on me. How often do you see these anymore? Not very often. This was one of like one or two or three. I think it was like third or second one to remain open before the last one. And so we arrive right back up front to an empty parking lot signifying what once was Sears Grand. Oh.